back over there. Ah, there's more over there. We just got this shot. We need someone right now. Oh my God! Oh my God! Operation Bushmaster is the capstone experience of the operational military medicine curriculum at the Uniformed Services University. It represents a mock deployment to the notional country of Pandacar where we present our students with as many challenges that we can possibly generate that represent the, uh, the leadership and operational challenges that they, that they can be expected to see in the real world as they graduate and deploy into their first assignment. The exercise involves two classes of medical students with our fourth years role playing as medical providers in the battalion aid station while our first years are role playing as casualties to support the medical simulation. I got some bruising. Okay. So I got blunt injury. That was actually pretty awesome because I got to be the patient, see how bumpy the ride gets when they're carrying you on the litter, um, see how chaotic it gets and how confused they can get. Um, but they did really well. They diagnosed me right away, got me squared away to the helicopter. I'm one of the medics, I'm here to help you. So you're in, you're in, a, you're in an ID class. Because war is hell and war is chaos in general, we'll not only have our patients that we'll have to treat, but we'll have pyrotechnics that'll add to the noise and the confusion. We'll have, again, moulage patients that will look realistic. We'll have simulated uh, patients that say there's a chest tube that needs to be inserted into a patient. Well, we'll have a simulator right next to it. And so it'll be a realistic simulation of combat and chaos. Your commander is going to tell you what needs to get done. And that means that you're going to have to build the tent while you're receiving casualties, while you're going out on missions, while you're planning routes. You've got to do everything all at the same time. That's what's different between this and civilian medicine. Fort Indian Town Gap is a National Guard training base in Pennsylvania. It was primarily chosen because it was close to the university. It's about an hour and a half uh, drive here from Bethesda. And uh, in addition to that, they have a number of uh, resources in place to support units like ours that don't have any military equipment. So through all the operational problems, the idea is to introduce adaptive leadership challenges that the students have to face make decisions on. Um, there often are not correct answers or incorrect answers, but they're simply decision points that we hope challenge the students to broaden their perspectives a little bit on the way things work in the real world. So in our simulation, what we've tried to do is produce as much realism as possible. Part of the realism is theatrical makeup. We, uh, we have a number of makeup artists that have uh, really become experts in applying makeup in a way that looks very realistic. We've actually moulaged over 900 patients. Today, the um, IED blast, where it makes it look like the skin is blown up. The mass casualty exercise has become a Bushmaster tradition as we uh, end the exercise it, it, it always ends with a very large scale uh, mass casualty or mass cal experience. So the mass casualty exercise w was awesome. There was a simulated gunfire going off, there was an overwhelming number of patients, the necessity to move these individuals from the point of care to a definitive point of care, all culminating our previous 72 hours of, uh, of tasks that we performed. These young men and women are learning early in their medical career uh, what they're really going to face as they go out and become military physicians. As you know, the majority of the physicians in the military don't come from uses, and they have to learn this as on-the-job training, uh, oftentimes when they're thrown into these situations. I think this really gives these students a, a leg up and a better understanding of what we really signed up for.